Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up the wiring configuration on your Pavo 20 Pro or Pavo 20 um, drone on the flight controller and basically the wiring setup for your LEDs. So you can fly this thing in the dark, uh, whichever color or configuration it is, we've got you covered. So we're gonna show you the correct wiring setup so that you can solder it the way you want. Come, let's get started. All right, so we've got you covered. So as you can see here, we're gonna show you a little bit of a close-up look of what it actually looks like inside so that you can have uh, the proper connection for your uh, LED lights on your drone, okay? So we're just gonna mirror everything. I'm just gonna select the uh, camera source. And of course, we right here, we're using an app called Quick Camera. And if you go to select source right here, uh, let's choose, ah, we wanna turn this thing on right here. This little magnifying glass. Sometimes it might help you with soldering. See, it just turned on. And let's see what we have here. We're gonna click here. And we don't see it. If you don't see your camera, just quit the application and then launch it again. Uh, see, there we go. But this is, we're actually viewing the Osmos action right now. So now if we select source, uh, ah, there it is right there, WTM right there. And so now what we'll have to do is zoom in or zoom out accordingly. Once you get a clearer picture of everything, you are golden. And you can see this cable right here, right? Right, um, let's get it ah, right about there. That looks about right. Now we just need to magnify it. See, and we have three wires, okay? So you have, where's my pointer thingy? Right here. You have one wire, the black wire, as you can see, is on the uh, ground right there, okay? And then the red wire is on the five volts, which is right there, see? And then the yellow wire, which is hard to see, is right there, okay? And in case you're wondering, where exactly is that on the board? We'll flip the wire back so that you can see. And as you can see, the yellow wire is on, whoops, the, you see it? T6, okay? And if we follow it, bring it in, bend it down a little bit right there. See, yellow wire is on the T6. And we'll bend it back a little bit so that you guys can see. Uh, right about there, okay? See, yellow wire, T6, and then everything else right there. You have your um, black on the ground, and then the red going on the, uh, right there. See that? On the five volt. And you should see it if we bend it over. I mean, it's really hard to get that angle, but if we move everything, see, right there, voila. Now you can't see it right now, but if we turn the wire over, remember we just flipped it over so that you could see the, um, the other part. Now if we move this, see, and there it is, right there. Mm. If I wanna get it, whoops, don't break your stuff, but if I wanna get a closer look, I can turn this on because, you know, if you can't see with the magnifying glass there, you can just always bring this in and then you can get a better bird's eye view of everything uh, because the wires are scrunched up in there. Um, yeah, so it's right where it's on, right where it needs to be, where it says five volts. Okay, so again, this is, I'm just gonna bring everything right in here so that you guys can see and bring it right about, and I'm, I'll make this bigger so that you guys can get more of a view. See that? All right, so now we have here, um, we have the yellow wire right there. And if we pull it back, you'll be able to see it a little bit better to see where exactly that yellow wire is. The yellow wire, as you can see, is on the T6, okay? Yellow wire is on a T6, and the red wire is on the five volt. See, so look for the five V, and then the black wire, if I can somehow tap it and get it right there, is on the 
ground. See? Right there it says GND on anything. Now I'm going to pull the black wire over so that you can see the part that actually says GND. So move this a little bit. See? And then, see? The black wire is on the GND. See? That's a D at the end. If we can somehow finagle it, move this, and then move that so that you can see. See? GND. So that's the black wire. Now if I can somehow finagle it so that that is clearer. See? Voila. To some extent, when you move it, it goes a little out of focus. See? GND for black. And the yellow is on the T6. And everything else is golden, see, T6, and then the red is on the five volt. Knowing that moving forward, hopefully, you know, you, you soldered everything correctly. Uh, when you put it back together, you might want to use a, uh, what do they call it, smoke stopper to make sure everything uh, works just right for you. And uh, the smoke stopper will actually prevent you from uh, blowing your unit out. Uh, there's a link to it in the description down below, but I will show you guys right here what the smoke stopper is. Um, it will just ensure that your connections are solid. Um, if it shorts out, you would know because the smoke stopper prevents that from happening. So what you do is you take this, right? And then you grab a battery. And of course, you plug your lights in, right? So you take um, this is your smoke stopper. So you have one end that goes to your um, connector like that. See, it lights up and then you select the right amperage for whichever one you're using. And then what we do is we will um, plug in the lights, make sure the antenna is not touching the board so there's no accidental short antenna away from the board again. Antenna away from the board so it doesn't short out. Can't like you said it already. Yeah, you don't know how many um, people have blown out their boards. Um, so we don't need this anymore because we can move that away. Um, so I'm gonna plug this in like this. Remember, we're just plugging in the lights, making sure it works before we put the drone back together. Um, this part is a little bit tricky because you have to be a little acrobatic. But once you get it in. You are golden. <clears throat> Might have to put your smoke stopper down. And then if we can somehow get it in its right position. There, now it's in. Um, battery smoke stopper okay blue and then now what we'll do is you find the right spot actually let's shut this off so we don't have any distractions okay and then now if we lean that there against there and then plug this baby in and then now change it so that it goes on See? And voila. Now we know it works. It didn't short out. Okay? And it's beeping. And remember, antenna away from the board. Uh, and then off. Now we know that when we plug it in, it's not going to blow out. It's just like a little fuse box. So now we know that when we plug it out, be careful plugging it out because you could actually break stuff. Um, and then plug this out. And then now put the battery back in. Okay, I'll make sure it's in, and then it should, shouldn't short out as long as the antenna is away from touching anything. See, voila, we did it, yay! And then we'll just um, plug it out and put Humpty Dumpty back together again and hopefully we are good to go. Kinda neat, huh? Gotta love it. Anyway, hope this video helped you and better understanding where those soldering connections go. Yellow to T6, G to ground, and red to the 5V. 
and then you're fine once you set up everything in the previous video that shows you how to connect everything with your UART1. I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.